All righty. All righty. Okay. Um, Ophiosis. This is the month of love. All right. Let's see what is happening. So, ladies and gentlemen, you are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. Um, whoever this person is, people are recognizing what this person have done. This is a Virgo man. And whoever this Virgo man is, uh, try to create some sort of uh, uh, a situation. And I see that they are recognizing. I see your wishes and dream is going to be coming true. Um, for a lot of you, love is going to be coming in. They recognize the, the play that was going on. And I see um, you guys are going to be okay. <clears throat> the <clears throat> They recognize um, what is happening. So, truth will be told. The energy of the lovers is here. Truth is being, people are recognizing and truth is, is been told. People recognize uh, um, and it's going to be speaking, speaking to their partner, speaking communication is going to be the key. Um, they have recognized uh, a, um, a situation, a play um, that was going on. So a lot of you who are in a relationship with a Virgo man, um, they're going to be recognizing some sort of a play that this man tried to do. And people are now, um, you know, coming down at this man and recognizing what is going on. Uh, so it could be your partner, it could be your husband, whoever this person is, uh, they are now understanding, um, you are recognizing who this man is and it's the Virgo man, whoever this Virgo man is and whatever is happening and transpiring, they recognize what this Virgo man has done. Um, so it could be you are married to this man, you're seeing this man. And you are recognizing that this man have a mask on and have been playing some sort of a game. And they are now recognizing this. Truth is coming out. And I see some sort of a balance is going to be coming to a situation. Because whoever was dealing with some sort of an imbalance in your relationship, I see that the balance is going to be coming in. A lot of you, the energy of uh, uh, the devil is here. And it is as if a Virgo man is showing you two-faced, some sort of a control, okay, is here. So it is as if a lot of you don't want to open up your hearts to someone. I uh, see someone is trying to communicate to a lot of you. And, you know, no one seems to um, want to open up their hearts to this person, whoever this person is and whatever is going on. Um, a lot of people are recognizing that um, uh, you're in a relationship with someone, but the person is not speaking. The person is not saying, um, you know, speaking up and letting you know, you know, where you are. So I see a lot of you want to know in this fund, where are you and what is happening and what is transpiring? Because they're recognizing now, a lot of you are recognizing that, uh, you know, love is here. Uh, but it is a sort of a false love where you recognize that uh, someone, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, whoever these people are, it is a sort of a false love that was created. So a lot of you are recognizing whoever you're in a relationship with, um, whatever the love that they're showing you and whatever they're trying to, um, you know, show is is false is false and i see a lot of you are going to be recognizing that you know you are dealing with someone who's not really uh showing up what is going on who how they're feeling about you so there was some sort of uh, a situation where you know truths are going to be coming out truths are going to be coming out whatever um, that was plain truth or definitely could be coming out. And what is happening and transpiring is that you're using the sword of truth in the correct way to balance out the situation and let people recognize that, you know, it is time for this game to be over. You're not playing any game anymore. You are, you know, you need to know where you are in this relationship. And I see that... Uh, a lot of you are going to be showing up for yourself 
um, whether it's a marriage, whether it's a relationship, whether it's someone you were seeing, you're going to be showing up for yourself because you're going to be ending some sort of a play. It's as if some of you were in some sort of a false relationship that was not based on um, uh, honesty. And they are going to be recognizing uh, and you are going to be recognizing for yourself, hey, I'm not sure where I am in my relationship, where I'm in my marriage. I'm not sure of what is happening, what is transpiring, because we are now at a stage where some unconventional situation was happening and transpiring. So a lot of you are going to be recognizing and a lot of you are going to be aware of of the changes, the situation that is happening and transpiring and how you are basically, basically going to be, you know, looking for love um, and ready to move on and look for love because you recognize that the issues, the problem, the situation um, in your marriage, in your relationship, you are going to be walking away from it so it's about a lot of you um clarity clarity is here clarity is here about your relationship and because of the clarity you're using the sword of truth you're recognizing that a whole lot of uh, situation had gone away in your marriage or relationship um you are standing your ground and showing up uh, um, whatever that was happening and transpiring and recognizing that uh, you have uh, uh, the sense of moving forward and uh, really moving forward in a powerful way. So however this is happening and transpiring, a lot of you are using the sword of truth to, to you know, get away and um, show people, show the other person in your life that, look, I need to know where I stand. And I think that this is going to be good. So a lot of people are going to be, um, you know, recognizing that, hey, I've been in this situation for such a long time. And it's, I, I, you know, I'm not sure what my standing is, where I am and what my standing is. And you are really um, showing up for yourself and thinking, I need to. Um, talk, I need to speak up, I need to let people know, hey, um, some changes has to be done. And if the changes aren't done, I'm definitely going to be making sure that I have, uh, and I am going to be coming out of a horrible um, relationship, a horrible marriage, uh, um, you know, a horrible relationship that as uh, I have been the one who is uh, get played in this relationship. So it is a sense that a lot of you are going to be thinking about uh, and balancing out and recreating situations. So, so this is going to be good. So um, the energy of uh, a lot of you could be married to a Virgo and some sort of information is going to be coming in that a Virgo has been cheating on you. Truths are going to be coming out. Love is going to be coming in and it's going to be powerful. The Ace of Cups is here and they are taking down some sort of a negative play that was transpiring and they're balancing out a situation and recognizing that some sort of, uh, um, you know, some of you are recognizing that, hey, you know, this person has been keeping me on a string for such a long time, going over, over and over and over. And now you are going to be removing yourself from the cycle and recognizing what was happening. So um, a lot of you who were in a relationship, you're going to be recognizing that this love was false and you're going to be um, using the sword of truth to say, hey, you know, we have played this game long enough. Let's end it. Okay. Um, because you recognize that, you know, this is no longer um, a balanced relationship in any form. So you're going to be um, the one to throw the uh, towel in the ring and recognize how on, you know, that it, it doesn't serve you to be in this relationship anymore. And uh, you're going to be recognizing that for yourself. So I see, you know, it is going to be powerful. There is no 
question about this. This is going to be a really powerful situation that is going to be transpiring. And you get to be aware of this and just accept, let go and let God. It's always, you know, when you find yourself in this relationship that seems to end and, you know, you or the other person that doesn't want to walk away, you're going to be finding the inner strength to say, hey, let's end it. I'm walking away and success with it. All right. So take care. Namaste.